Today, we've got a 427 cubic inch Monster Windsor Ford built by Prestige Motorsport. It's fuel injected, naturally aspirated, and puts out 612 horsepower on pump gas, no less. Now let's get this party started. Prestige Motorsports is a race engine builder out of Concord, North Carolina, and they've also begun putting together crate engine packages for hot street cars. They have multiple options for all new Ford engines, but we were obviously most intrigued by their 427 cubic inch Windsor based small block that they conservatively rate at 600 horsepower. Prestige regularly does builds with stock blocks, but to be able to reliably handle the extra power of this build, a Dart SHP cast iron block was chosen. It's cast with thick Siamese cylinder walls to be able to handle bores as wide as 4 inches 165 thousandths. But for this build, we're only going to 4 125. There's also a priority main oiling system and a 9.5 inch tall deck that's extra thick to resist warping. After machining, cleaning, and double checking all the clearances, machinist and engine builder Cody McCleary installs the cam bearings. The priority main oiling sends pressurized oil first to the main bearings where it's typically needed most, then it's fed to the cam bearings, lifters, and rockers on the top of the engine. The camshaft is a solid roller from Comp Cams, and it's a big boy for a street engine, which means this is probably going to have a pretty beefy lope at idle, and I don't mind that a bit. There's 258 degrees of duration at 50 thousandths lift for the intakes and 266 for the exhaust, all on a 105 degree intake center line. With a set of 1.6 to 1 ratio rockers, that will make gross lift for the valves 689 thousandths of an inch on the intakes and 681 thousandths for the exhaust. The crankshaft is a forged unit from Eagle that's been internally balanced. It has a four inch stroke, so combining that with the 4125 inch bore, that makes the final displacement 427 cubic inches. After applying a thick coat of assembly lube on the King main bearings, the crank is ready to be dropped into place. Now for additional strength, Dart utilizes these splayed bolt steel main caps. The main bolts thread deep into the block's main webbing so they won't distort the cylinder boards once they're pulled tight. The eight pistons are supplied by SRP. These slugs are a high strength 4032 aluminum forging with coated skirts to prevent scuffing. A 23cc dish in the top of the piston helps keep the compression down to 10 and a half to one so that this engine can reliably burn pump gas. Connecting the pistons to the crankshaft are a set of Liberty Pro Series H-beam connecting rods. These are six and a quarter inch rods with a Chevy size 927 pin, all secured with wire locks. The rings are JE Pro Seal. The package is a 1.2 millimeter top ring, 1.5 millimeter second ring, and a three millimeter oil ring. And finally, it's time to send the pistons and rods home. McCleary secures the rod caps by torquing the ARP rod bolts to 63 foot pounds. After finishing the short block, McCleary hands the rest of the build off to engine builder Larry Broker, who begins by installing the double row timing set so that he can degree in the cam. Man, that billet front cover is a big chunk of aluminum, but it's not actually overkill. This is the foundation for the Billet Specialties pulley kit. Everything mounts off the front cover, so it has to be rigid. Next, Broker turns his attention to the oiling system. 
That's a mailing high volume oil pump getting fitted up with a pickup tube and screen from Canton designed expressly for their road racing oil pan. This is a seven quart pan that's been fully baffled with trap doors and a crank scraper to minimize power robbing windage. Of course, a 600 horsepower target on a naturally aspirated small block is going to require a set of heads that can move a lot of air. So Prestige decided to go with a pair of AFR aluminum cylinder heads. These Renegade heads have been CNC ported with a 58cc combustion chamber and 220cc intake runners that flow really well. In fact, these runners are rated at 318 CFM at 600 valve lift and go up from there. The valves are sized at 2 inches 100 thousandths for the intakes and inch 570 for the exhaust, both with narrow 8 millimeter stems to cut down on valve train weight. A set of steel retainers connect the valves to a set of pack racing springs that are capable of handling 710 thousandths lift with 220 pounds of pressure on the seat. With ARP bolts holding the heads in place, Broker applies the final torque of 100 foot pounds. To go with the roller cam, Broker installs a set of BAM's tie bar solid roller lifters into the lifter boards after they've been thoroughly soaked with oil. The rocker arms are from Scorpion. These Endurance Series rockers mount up on 7 16 rocker studs and they have the stock 1.6 to 1 rocker ratio. They are activated by a set of 5 16 inch diameter hardened steel push rods and they're 8 inches, 275 thousandths long. Broker sets up the cold lash on these rockers to 11 thousandths of an inch. Once the engine warms up, that should open up the lash to 16 thousandths and 18 thousandths for the intakes and the exhaust respectively. A single plane intake, specifically a Super Victor from Edelbrock, helps bump up the power levels higher in the power band. By the way, we're ditching the carburetor, so this is one of Edelbrock's EFI manifolds with the injector bungs already cast into place. Oh, and check out the masking tape on both sides of the intake and the china rail. This is a pretty cool trick anytime you're using silicone to seal the ends of the intake manifold. After the tape is pulled off, it makes for a very clean silicone line. To feed fuel to the combustion chambers, Prestige spec'd out a set of Bosch 48 pound per hour fuel injectors. They slide up into a pair of Edelbrock fuel rails. Ignition duties will be handled by a Holley HP engine management system. So instead of a traditional distributor, a Holley dual sink distributor is dropped into place to route the spark. And here's a look at the completed Billet Specialties front drive system. I like that the entire drive system is nice and compact. The components are held tight against the engine to create maximum clearance in the engine bay in case you're running big electric radiator fans and everything runs off of one serpentine belt. Once up on the dyno, Prestige spent a little extra time allowing the Holly HP EFI ECU to dial in the air fuel map. Finally, they were able to pull the trigger so now let's hear her rip. Final results, 557.7 foot-pounds of torque at 4,900 RPM and a very impressive 612.7 horsepower at 6,300 RPM. That's almost 13 horsepower better than the advertised number. Best of all, the torque never dropped below 485 foot-pounds from the time we started the pull at 3,400 RPM all the way to 6,400. That kind of torque is going to be a lot of fun in any car. 
And the self-learning Holley EFI not only helps this package produce maximum horsepower, it'll also improve low RPM drivability and general street manners versus a carburetor in all four seasons. Oh,